Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 103 of my FIFA 14 My Player Career on the Xbox One. And today, after I've played the games that I'm going to play, I think I've got three games to play in this episode. I'm going to give you a quick squad report as it was requested an episode or two ago by one of the comments. So I thought I'd let you guys see my current team, or the current team I am playing with, or for, and see Kaikom's stats as well, see how he's getting on. Well, first game up today is away to Levante in the league. And Kaikom there trying to win the ball early on. So 15 minutes in, still no goals, but Levante are on the ball now, looking to attack. With a defensive header, but that was a poor piece of control there. And Levante, nice back heel, touch and a little chip over the keeper, and that is a goal. Great goal for Levante. And 1 0 to there, and the lead after 17 minutes. It's probably one of the best goals I've conceded against a computer. Little back heel and a nice little touch past the keeper. Look at this. Back heel. Did my defenders. Touch and a little ding over the keeper. Gives Levante a one goal lead. And that's some work to do now, Madrid. Can Kai Kwon get in and try and get a goal? Half an hour in. Still losing by a goal to nil. Levante on the ball again in midfield. Kai Kwon picks up the loose ball though. He's on a 6.6. .6. Ball's played forward to Balotelli. Uses his strength to get through. Crosses and Ronaldo on his head. Equalises for Real Madrid. 1 1. 34 minutes played. Levante 1. Real Madrid 1. Ronaldo with that goal. Balotelli with the nice little crossover. Kai didn't really have a say in that goal. Oh, he couldn't miss from there, Ronaldo. He's getting older, but he's still putting the goals away. So 1-1, one, one, 10 minutes before half-time, and into the second half, into the last minute of the game. We're looking to get a last-minute goal. Kaikon plays the ball forward. Come on, finish. Oh, he's handballed it. Oh, unlucky. That was probably our last chance of the game. Levante kick it forward, and referee blows his whistle. It ends all square again. 1-1. One, one. We're drawing way too many again going to ruin our season we missed out on the league last year and it looks like we're going to do the same this year Spanish Cup against Athletic Bilbao we have to sim it because Kaikon's being rested so Isco goes in my place and it's another 1-1 one -one. Di Lorenzo came off the bench to score the Madrid goal and we've got an international friendly coming up for England and we're playing away to Poland, so we'll get to see our nice red kit and my nice red boots. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. Nice red kit and my red and white boots goes together perfectly. But will it give, bring us any goals? Let's wait and see. England to kick off. Glorious sunshine. The end of the season is approaching. Ten minutes before half time, Kai comes on the attack on his right side. He's on a 7.2 rating so far, so not too bad. Cross comes in from Kai on the head. Oh, did the defender just knock that in? I think he did, but Kai Kwon gets the assist and he's got a plus one on the crossing accomplishments. It's number nine. Who is that? I don't have no idea who that is. He's been given the goal, but I swear that's an own goal. I think the defender headed that in. Kai Kwon with the cross. Number nine headed it. Goalkeeper saved it. Oh, I think he handballed it in. Go, uh, the defender handballed it in and gives England the lead. 1 0. Kakon winning the ball. Can he get through? He has. He's got through and he shoots. That's a bit crazy. Five minutes before half time. Kakon had a crazy shot. So we're into the last minute of the game. Still leading by a goal to nil. Poland there trying to get a last minute equaliser, but they don't. The final whistle blows. Victory for England. We're looking good. Ready for. What will it be? Is it the European Championships? I think it is, isn't it? The European Championships. Let's have a crack again, mate. 9.4 final match rating for Kai, so all good there. It's going to take us into the third game of this game in this episode. And it's a way to Peru. Can Kai score on this game? Come on, let's kick off. Playing in our red and white strip once again. See if we can get ourselves near the goal. Kaikwan picks up the ball in midfield. Plays it inside. Manager changes to attacking style. It's a nice ball to Kai. He's going to cut inside. And 
Finesse, far post, simple as that. Look at that, three minutes on the clock. It's Peru nil, England one, and Kai Kwan has got the goal to give England the lead. Easy peasy. Look at that, just control it, cut inside, finessed it. Far post, goalkeeper, no chance. 1 0 England. He's on a 10 rating after that goal. I don't think that's going to last though. Four minutes into the game. Ten minutes before half time, Kagwan looking to double the lead, but it was saved. And still England on the attack though. Kagwan. Nice bit. Oh, that's a nice ball from Kai. Pokes it past the keeper, and England have got a two goal lead. Number eight. I don't have a clue who that is either. All these new players coming through, I can't, can't recognise any of them. Nice little toe poke past the keeper. And Karkom's going to get an assist for that. So he's got a goal and an assist. And he's on an 8 rating. And he's won the ball again there. Nice bit of skill. Can he go all the way straight from kickoff? Oh, I tried a bit too much skill and lost it. But we're still in the first half. But in the last minute, waiting for the half-time whistle to blow. England are on the ball. Karkom, is he going to carry on his run? Oh, he's through. Kai's through. Can he score his second goal of the game? Shoots across the keeper. And that's England's third on the stroke of half time. Peru nil, England three. And Kai Kwan has got his second goal of the game. And he's on a hat trick. Can he get a hat trick for England? That'll be a first. So, Peru kick off. Into the second half, still leading by three goals to nil. Kaikwam still fighting for that third goal to get his hat trick. Well, with five minutes to go, I don't see it coming. And in fact, he's being substituted, so he's not going to see it. And there we go, a 3 0 win at least. And we're being rested for the next game, which is at home to Real Betis in the league. But it's go playing in our place. And we get a 2-1 victory. That's what we like to see. Cristiano Ronaldo in amongst the goals once again. So, as I said, squad report. Here we go. 30-year-old, 33-year-old goalkeeper. 86, Muslera. Fernandez, 30-year-old as well. He's only rated 72. He's played 31 games. 35 games. He's rated 20. Wow, is it overall 80? Prestia. Looks like a good potential for the future. Sergio Ramos is still at the club, he's played 34 games, he's 33 years old. Marcelo's gone down two points, he's 31 now. We've got Kadira, 32 years old, he's also gone down two points. He's played 26 games so far this season. Luka Modric, 34 years old, still rated at 86, so he's not doing too bad. Lucas, 27 years old, rated 90, he's probably one of the best players at the club, along with Kaikwam of course. And then we've got Cristiano Ronaldo, 35 years old, and he's rated 88 overall, 7.5. That's not too bad for a 35 year old. And then we've got the master, Kai Kwan, rated 93. He's only 26 years old, 55.5 million is rated. He's currently on the transfer list. He's played 22 games and 11 goals. He's got six assists in the league. And Mario Balotelli, rated 90, 29 years old now. And. Another young defender, 21 years old, and another one there, 20, he's not played yet this season. Di Lorenzo, striker, 21 years old. Quite a few young strikers in the team, 22 year old there, 2.8 million value. Cattell, 88 value, uh, sorry, overall rating, and Isco of course, 86 rated, 27 years old. Hugo Lloris, 84. 33 years old, 4 million pounds, he's not very happy, neither is this guy, 22 year old youngster, 23 year old Marcus, Bentalab, 25 years old, he's not very happy either, that's probably why we're not playing too well, most of the players are unhappy, 18 year old there, Sosa, 22 year old striker, another striker, 21 years old, wow we've got so many strikers, do we need him, no we do not, another central midfielder, rated 79, 28 year old right back and Jesse Rodriguez, 26 years old, rated 82 overall. And there's Neymar, 80, 89 rating, 28 years old now, 27.5 million pound rated. He's only played 11 games, so 10 games this season. And there's Angel Di Maria and Sahin, 31 years old, 
Diego Lobe Lopez, 38 years old as well. So that is a quick squad report and there's Kai Kwon. There's my overall stats, 26 years old. We're hoping to still improve them. Got a couple of year, couple of more years to be at our peak. Acceleration 93. Uh, a quick comparison. Let's compare him to Isco. He's our main rival for this camp position. And yes, I'm better in every department. Look at that. Kaquam is the best player at Real Madrid and can only get better.